Hey you guys, welcome to a new What Foodie Beauty Twitter is saying video. Hi, hello. So, where do we start? It's kind of been a busy morning. Uh, we did get proof of life of Salah. He was on the back of a motorcycle and he took a boat ride by himself. A, a nice romantic swan boat ride for him and his one eyebrow. Um, while Foodie Beauty stayed back and she filmed a pizza mukbang. Not just a regular cheese pizza mukbang. A nine cheese pizza mukbang. Anyways, we're going to get you all caught up with what happened. We're going to hear people's opinions on what's going on. Maybe some conspiracy theories. Definitely some clips. But I do want to say before we start, any thoughts, views, opinions, beliefs expressed by anybody else may not reflect my own. Just because I'm retweeting something, it doesn't necessarily equal endorsement. I'm just nosy and I want to see what everybody's talking about. <laughs> all right, let's get into these tweets. So apparently while Salah was on his way to his very romantic date party of one, well two I guess if you count his eyebrow, but anyways, he has a message for us and um, it's really creepy. Let me just play it for you. Let me know what you think. Oh yeah, I forget to say something for the haters, a small message for the haters. I'm still in Thailand and you can all suck it, haters, okay? <laughs> They think that I'm uh, back to Kuwait. I will never leave my beautiful wife. I will stay with her until death. I will never leave my beautiful Chantal, like whatever the reason, or under any pressure. So, calm your tits, haters. The part that was chilling to me, well, they, well, let me start by saying this. A, it, it sounded so rehearsed, and I honestly wonder how much he got paid to say all of that. But then I heard that specific part where he said, until death, and then immediately I thought of, is that why you're feeding her so much? Is that why you're letting her eat the way she does? until death and then i saw this comment by tara bright and tara bright star said he's doing a mighty fine job of feeding her into an early grave now we know why hey of course he's not gonna leave her he can't leave her where else is he gonna get all this money hidden truth said regarding that last clip that was shared by lord fupaquad they said yes he will if she gets deported back to canada where he can't go also this isn't his own opinion. It's Chantel telling him what to say. She's controlling him, and he doesn't even realize it. What a good Muslim he is. Here's a picture of Salah on his swan boat ride. There you go. So we now know why Foodie wasn't with him, why they weren't together. He was doing things that she couldn't possibly do. She can't ride on the back of a motorcycle. She can't do a paddle boat ride. It does take a lot of work to move those boats i've gone on several of them it's it's a good exercise so anyways there's him on his date and hidden truth said how sad is it that Chantal has now given up touring thailand and making salah do it all so she can stay back to eat and get high shows you how much she cares about her vibs barbecue chicken said first of all nine cheese second that's not a medium that's a large here in Spain. That's crazy. And then let's watch this clip. Heck, it, I mean, I'm sorry, but this this side, this is not big enough. This is like, I'm gonna be hungry still. I know what you're thinking, gross, whatever, whatever, who cares, fat shame me, I'm over it. But I want more food, like for the price, <laughs> like a medium at least. All right, bismillah, let's just be grateful for the food I do have here, because that's more than a lot of people, so. Omegon says, because of the size of her head, it looks small. Then the scale kicks in. So you know how Foodie Beauty was giving us a lecture about being grateful in her last mukbang while being completely ungrateful for the portion of her pizza? And um, basically saying, oh, what did she say again? It wasn't enough food, and how it should at least be a medium. Well, she lied. As the pizza is a medium. <laughs> Thanks to Milk Tea who provided proof. And Milk Tea also said, Why must you persist in lying about the stupidest crap? 
and here it gives all the details about the nine cheese pizza and it says pizza in the nine cheese category is available only in a medium size spin dizzy said hi af and eating her feelings where's your man where's your money with your man don't come with lecturing about greed while being 500 lbs lol and b that was not a personal size that was a medium I said, foodie beauty lecturing about gratitude after complaining for 10 minutes about the size of her pizza, the sauce, no ketchup, and having eight cheeses instead of nine. It's the lack of awareness for me. Here's the clip of Salah on the back of a motorcycle on the back of a bike um, shared by Shenanigans. Uh, Cherry, no, I'm not driving. There's a driver here. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I think this is the happiest I've ever seen him. By the way, here's Foodie Beauty's community post from earlier. She says, number four, good game, Alan Fletcher, LOL. I'm happy and I want to thank you all who requested, who requested a cameo from me. It really means a lot. Check out my cameo profile. So when you hear somebody saying, that, I thank you all, would you guess it would be probably more than two people? Because it literally says Foodie Beauty and... uh two videos right underneath that. Okay, so I'm looking at the comment section. We'll go back to Twitter in a minute, by the way. I'm looking at the comment section on her pizza mukbang, and I thought we could read a few of the comments. So Chantal's missing self-awareness said, you know, Chantal, I'm happy you decided to travel despite being bigger than ever. Even though you've spent most of the time garbling on takeout, locked away in your hotel, and you're extremely limited, you still went. You can say, I've been to Thailand, which in reality, the vast majority of us cannot. So kudos for facing your fears and going past your comfort zone. Lola asked, Babe, when's the last time you left the hotel room? Business Satire said, not sponsored? Said Chantal, as if Coca-Cola really wanted to have bad marketing. Well, Foodie Beauty's been out again, out and about, running rampant in the comment sections as sock accounts again. How do I know? Somebody came into my live earlier saying that they're reporting me for bullying poor Sean's hell. And then after that live stream, they left a comment under like six different videos. How does it feel? Does it feel good to bully poor Sean's hell? Something along the lines of that. Not those words exactly, but you get the idea. Well, I'm scrolling through Twitter and I see that Danny is also having an experience with sock accounts. So I put two and two together and I'm like, it's more than likely Sean's hell has to be and lately how i know it's chantel you guys is she starts her comments with not that i'm a fan of chantel not that i like chantel because i don't like her i'm definitely not chantel not that i'm you know she always starts off with that so anyways danny said this just keeps getting sadder and sadder foodie beauty how embarrassing hashtag sock hashtag catfish so danny left a comment saying you think you're so funny, don't you, Chantal? And Ellie Caitlin, who was possibly Chantal, said, I think she has the most decent sense of humor in this toxic girl world. P.S. And no, I'm not a fake account, and don't hate mob on me because I'm not disgustingly, unnecessarily, horrible to her. I don't care who said, where did she say that? At this point, you just want to hate, that's all. Rebecca said, well said, Ellie, red heart emoji. Danny replied to Ellie, Chantal, you do realize that we can see you made this channel 10 hours ago, right? Stop it. Get some help. The only channel you've been commenting on is your own. We can see it. And Danny provided receipts. So they, if you click on Ellie's account, it apparently says Ellie, Ellie Caitlin 93, joined 10 hours ago, no subscribers. On this channel, 14 comments. One of them says, best thing to come out of Canada is definitely Trailer Park Boys. And then 
Ellie slash foodies <laughs> commented on the 7-Eleven Thailand favorites and said, Chantel, did you just legit fart at the end? And then they also said on the stuffed crust nine cheese pizza, God, you're so right about life and waiting to do things until you've achieved a goal that you've made. Okay, but let's see what Danny has to say. Danny said the weirdest part is her asking herself, Chantel, did you just legit fart at the end? Never change, Chantel, never change. And then Danny also said, couldn't help myself. At Ellie, Caitlin, 93. Also, you're weird for wanting people to notice you farting at the end of your 7-Eleven video. I know many of us have seen the clip, but for some reason, I feel like in this clip captured by, I believe it's from Marley Hendricks, if you start looking towards the back, like behind her shoulder right away, you could see just how long um, these people were staring at Foodie Beauty. And again, this is the reason why she deleted her live. So really pay attention here. And um, it was bad enough, like I said, she deleted this. Well, the thing is my anxiety is not stemmed from being self-conscious. It's not a self-image issue. So that's why I don't have anxiety about eating in public. Have you guys seen this clip of Pulpy? It was shared by Barbecue Chicken and it's hilarious. If I saw someone eating like this in public, I might be Size half Thank you, Black Celine. Like, someone who was live streaming and ended up looking like this. So. I, I know it's a little bit egregious, but like if I was, if again, if I was out, if I was out at a night market and I saw someone talking to their phone and eating like a pig, yeah, maybe that's, that's, ma'am, the liquid goes in the mouth. Like that's fucked. That is abs, you're an adult. Like you look like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> said a ventriloquist dummy <laughs> oh my gosh okay let's go check out some michael furberger art all right you guys i thought we could end this video with some michael furberger art in this photo foodie beauty is holding up two cardboard signs that say i am in a fake loveless marriage travel visa rejected due to scam with that um hat that she chooses to wear all the time and here's another one. The Lost Boys. Um, whistle off. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, if you want to see more of these videos, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section. Please go follow me and Michael Furberger on Twitter. You will not be disappointed. If you ever need a laugh, definitely go check out Michael Furberger's page. And uh, follow me if you just want to see everything. And if you're, if you're nosy like me, follow me. All right, you guys have a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you, I'm sure.